Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today, guys. I'm gonna be dropping banger content because I'm gonna have a special guest and also we're gonna be talking about some of this stuff. But before we get into it, here is intro. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Thanks in. for inviting you know what I'm saying? me, dude. Today, we're going to be talking about freeform versus maintained or kept dreads. And so we're just going to talk back and forth and just go uh, in and out of basically our experience and our preferences on dreadlock. Because I had, I low-key had a freeform, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. After he gave me a dreadlocks. And so later on, I kept on, or I kept on just growing it and it became freeform. And uh, for like nine months, so semi-freeform. But... We want to talk to him today. We have him here today because he's been doing how long you've been doing for four? It's almost four months. It's been like three and a half months of allowing my hair to freely form, and you guys can just like see how nuts like everything is. It's literally like how Diddy's was looking for a while. <laughs> True that. My hair is just like really like so much thicker. Like everything's really thick and hard. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. It's been three and a half months. Wow. So what led you from going to? Uh, uh, regular dreads, so you had kept dreads with some Congos and stuff, some a little bit freeform going on. But what made you transition from that stage of your journey to a freeform lock? Like even when I first started my dreadlocks, I was inspired by Jaden Smith. Uh, he had kind of like a freeform style of dreadlocks, and like even looking back, I was really inspired by Bob Marley. Uh, the Weekends era was pretty interesting. Basquiat was always a big inspiration as far as hair. Mm. So like. Uh, getting into dreadlocks in, in general, I always wanted freeform locks. Mm. I just didn't know how to get them. Mm -hmm. So I started out with maintained locks. So I started out with, you know, doing a towel rub and then eventually they started locking up. Yeah. And then I went from there. And then I found out if I stopped doing everything, then my hair will congle up and kind of get freeform like. Mm -hmm. But they weren't 100% freeform. So I've always wanted to do freeform. Um, I just never started out initially with it. Gotcha. So I went through that whole locking process and then combed it out and then now we're here with me able to actually go through the whole process which is interesting with how long my hair is and how much it's like shrinking during the whole process got to so whenever you transition to a free form were you planning when you combed it out were you planning to go free form or were you just done with the dreads so yeah the whole process of combing my hair out i knew i was gonna go free form got you uh I just wanted to have curly hair for a while because it's been a moment oh, yeah. since i had curly hair it's been since high school so I wanted to go through that whole process first for a little bit and kind of fulfill everything I wanted to do with curly hair. Box. With doing like braids, box mm -hmm. braids, and uh, really curly hair and two strand twists and everything like that. So yeah. I, I feel like I fulfilled all that and got kind of bored with curly hair. So mm -hmm. I was like, all right, it's time to do this. What is hard to maintain, would you say? Curly hair, maintained, of course, maintained locks, or freeform. I mean, freeform doesn't sound like it's a lot to do, but I feel like there is some mm -hmm. maintenance to do with it. So which one do you think is more harder to keep up with? With freeform hair, it's, I literally all I do is wash my hair. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'll do. So it's really easy. And if you're maintaining your dreadlocks, then there's a little work. There's not a lot of work that goes into it. It's really dependent upon you. If you want to twist your hair every month, then that's something that you have to go through with yourself or you have to go to a loctician. So that was already work into that. So that already le uh, pushes it on to freeform being you know, less work. And with just having your hair outside of dreadlocks is already just hard because like I had to figure out what I needed to do with my hair every mm, single day right. versus just having dreadlocks. That's so true. overall, free from dreadlocks is so much easier for me to maintain because yeah. all I do is wash my hair and it's just all dependent upon what shampoo I want to use. Facts. I think I agree with that because freeform is the best because I freeformed for a while in a ponytail and I ain't had to do nothing to it. Mm -hmm. So it was just very easy. I, I just had to wash it and then put it in the bun. Wash it, put it in the bun or whatever. And it looked cool. A lot of people actually asked me after I even got the retwist. Mm -hmm. A lot of people came to my Instagram and asked me, they were like, how did you get to that part where your freeform looked like that? Because they were like, that is so cool. Yeah. You didn't have to uh, lock it or retwist it. Cause it looked cool where it was at, and all I all, all I did was literally put it in a ponytail all the time. Yeah. But I'm rocking my hair down more now. I'm uh, letting it loose now a little bit, uh, a little bit more, and just having it breathe a little bit. 
what made you start YouTubing or video uh, taping yourself basically for dreads? Just like what inspired inspired you to do that? I mean, your, your dreads were inspired by other people, but who inspired you to start locks and how did you start it? Yours? I feel like it was just kind of, I was capturing my life at the time. Mm -hmm. So that was what I was doing. That was what I was mainly focusing on is like, of course I was doing school on the side and then, or not on the side, I was going to full-time student at, you know, film school. And then on the side, I really like just enjoyed watching people's YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. And I was watching people like Christian Guzman, the online coach. I was watching as far as dreadlockers, uh, John Smith, uh, not Lux. And Lauren Jackson is her name. Is that her name? Something like that. Mm -hmm. I probably got it wrong. But there was like a couple people I watched as far as dreadlocks, and I, I wanted to document that and do like update videos because I thought it was really cool. Mm -hmm. I wanted to update people with my life and like share my life with people. And that was a way for me to do it with dreadlock videos. Um, and then it just came into this whole thing of, you know, making it look cool and getting cinematic and all kinds of other stuff added into it. Mm. And then, yeah, I think. Like I think the biggest inspiration, which is crazy, was John Smith. He doesn't. I don't. I haven't seen him make videos in a while, but he was one of the gotcha. biggest inspirations as far as going in that direction. All right, guys. I know this was short and sweet, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also, we recorded this. We had to re-record it again yeah. because we lost the footage. Uh, actually, I'm a, I'm gonna put in basically what we did last time because we ended up calling uh, uh, one of uh, one of the subscribers that have been hitting me up on Instagram and stuff like that, asking me questions. So we was able to give him an opportunity to meet Gunther Gray and also uh, ask him questions and ask me. And so I'm gonna put that in the video. Hey, CJ. What up, man? What's up, bro? Oh my god, that's crazy. Hey, I was trying to find somebody that's active on Instagram and like you don't want to pop up because you messaged me recently. Hey, I got somebody for you, bro. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, bro. What the heck? I can't ask. <laughs> bro, I watched all your videos, bro. No I watched way. <laughs> bro, you got some crispy dreads, bro. Yes, bro, appreciate it. Oh my, thank you so much. Like, this is one of these day by day. Oh my god, hey. thank y'all so much. Like, Merry Christmas to y'all and everything. Like, bro, this is crazy. Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas back to you, bro. I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm gonna give you one opportunity to ask guns that are great because we doing a video together and basically we decided, okay, let's see if somebody has a question for you. And then I was like, let's FaceTime somebody or let's call somebody. And so you're the only one to answer. So you got this opportunity to ask guns that are great one question. So what would that be? How do you do it, bro? Like, how do you just like be a perfect person, like be a, like, a humble person and just continue into YouTube stuff and just go up from there? Like, I, like you're like amazing to me, bro. Like, I'm being real. Like, I just can't. Like, I look up to <laughs> Man, I, I don't know. I feel like I just do the same thing as everyone else. And I just, and I don't know, like, I feel like Diddy could probably answer it better. I literally just wake up and do what I do, you know what I mean? I wake up, pray, do my thing, and then get into it. Uh, I would say, I would say, it's like, because from watching him and seeing what he does, it's just consistency, bro. Like, yeah. like he was grinding as hard as he he could whenever he was at freaking 1K subscribers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So the grind never stopped. Like he's still grinding. He's still thinking big things. It's just like, like a lot of people. Obviously, if you look at like dread channels and stuff like that, they quit once they get around like 5K because it's really struggle to get to get yourself known, especially not having any uh, any person that created a wave. Like for me. I feel like he already created the wave, so I just had to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be on that wave and then make my own wave from there. It's kind of easier uh, per se, but for him, it's just like he had to create dreads to be of videos and contents and to bring up all the contents. He made over like 1,000 mm -hmm. videos yeah. on one of his channels, you know what I'm saying? So it would be like consistency, what I've seen in him. Yeah, so I would say consistency too. Yeah. That's a big thing. That's what separates the pros from amateurs, man, consistency. This is crazy, this is really happening, bro. <laughs> thank y'all so much. Oh my god, thank you so much. Yes, sir. For sure. Hey. I love your new journey, bro. Oh my god. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be reposting on that. Uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna repost this or post this on my video uh, that's coming up. So check that out, bro. Hey, Merry Christmas to Merry you, bro. Christmas, we bro. Yeah, we're glad that we blessed your day, bro. Yeah, man. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So Take so care, bro. Merry Christmas, yes, sir. All right, bro. <laughs>
Yes, sir. CJ, man. CJ, man. His reaction is crazy. One of the things he texted me was on December 12th. Hey, man, I just wanted to say you inspire me, not just the dread, but to be a better man and set an example. I see what it means to be kind hearted person because uh, because of keep grinding on YouTube for real. So this guy has been a long uh, term fan of Guns That Are Great. And it just it just feels good to call people. I don't even think people would react like that. For real, like really, <laughs> like this is amazing, bro. Like you know, I'm we, I'm grateful for this opportunity and platform that I have. Yeah, and that's crazy. Yeah, like that's that's what really like that's what keeps me going really. Yes, sir. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole video, man. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, but if you guys want to see more of these, let me know. Also, check out Guns That Are Great on his yeah. on his side of town man a lot of things are booming man tell them all oh, what you're doing on your side of town all right so I mean, we got like a lot going on actually with my main channel gun to the great mm -hmm. got great locks where i do dreadlock reviews and everything like that it's really cool because i kind of teach people how to get dreadlocks like celebrities and you were actually featured on there mm -hmm. a couple times um and then also we got the family channel which is growing which is really cool mm -hmm. and then i got my son's channel which he's running oh yeah that, and that's really cool to see too uh, mm -hmm. I think that's about it. Then we also have like a music channel too, it's where we throw music on there every now and again. Make sure you guys check all his videos out. And also, I just dropped a, a family channel, so go check that out yeah, also. Check Diverse out. family, you know what I'm saying? All about the verse, the word, you know what I'm saying? And we will, uh, I'll go deeper and uh, me and my fiance will go deeper on basically what the family channel is going to be about on the near future uh, guys i'm getting very close to 10k man i appreciate you guys also i'm getting very close to purchasing a new camera uh you guys been supporting so much we have 170 dollars uh 170 dollars and we j we literally had like 20 dollars given like two three weeks uh two weeks ago or something so we've been going on that side i'm trying to get a new camera so i'm actually using good the grace camera right now and his his has an autofocus and stuff like that and so those are the things that i uh want on my camera so that i can bring you guys very quality videos but thank you guys for supporting Supporting that check out the uh, link on the description if you guys want to uh, support that and also in the near future when I hit 10,000 subscribers I will actually do Q&A's and react into the sub, uh, subscribers dress so make sure you stay tuned for that we're gonna be hitting it real soon check out the previous video but till next time keep acting the verse and creating your universe we out deuces deuces I can take out the gear log now? Yeah.